Okay, YouTubers, we got this microphone working, and we're going to do a tiling episode. It's uh, going to be targeted for Aspire, and uh, the uh, material is uh, out in my garage, and we'll go out there, and we'll get it started. Okay, here we are. I used a straight edge, like right here. Actually, it was longer than that. And that's going to be our start point, our 30 inch, and our other 30 inch, the tile 2. The usable length of this is 60 and a half by 18 by 2 and this is in inches the wood is cypress it's 2 inches thick it's 18 inches wide and it's 60 and a half long. We're going to draw an oval in here, an ellipse, which will be smaller, but we want to try to use most of the, of the lumber, the usable space. I just used a, a magic marker to draw that line and it goes, it's continuous uh, right down to the end. Like I said, this will be uh, the line that you line the CNC up on to cut your project. This bottom part right there is your start point for tile one for tile two okay here's my uh, reference line this is going to be the uh, edge of our milling uh, this is to line up our project and we're going to use this uh, to for alignment of both our number one two uh, number one and number two tile and if I can get over here okay I, I've got this marked at uh, 30 that's 30 inches that's going to be the size of our tiles it's going to be two tiles 30 inches each this is the start point of our second tile Okay, and now we'll go back to the con continuous motion, and we'll, we'll go down to our 30 inch mark, following that line, there's our 30 inch mark right there. That's the end of our first tile, and I guess, I think you can see that uh, good enough. And uh, this is how you want to align your project. And when you align the second tile, the, the position where it is now is the 30 inch. That's going to move down to here, down to your start point. Your start point is in that corner for the first one. 
and when you move it down there, your start point's still going to be here, but it's going to be on the 30-inch mark. And when you do that, you have to realign. That's what that line is for. Realign it so that it continues to follow that line from start to finish so that both of the, of the tiles line up with each other. So we'll just do a little movement here and uh, Okay, that's, that's about the limit of my machine, and that's why we're cutting two tiles. Well, just in case any of you are wondering, um, this uh, is Mach 4. I use Mach 4. Uh, a lot of you guys are using Mach 3. Uh, there are a few things that M Mach 4 will do that 3 won't. And I won't go over those because... Uh, but anyway, I was more or less convinced to take and get Mach 4 right from the beginning. Just because I use a, um, a different type of a controller and it readily is compatible with Mach 4 and uh, the smart bulb that I use along with it. Anyway, I just thought maybe uh, somebody probably goes like, what kind of CNC is that? And uh, what uh, what is he using for a program? And uh, if I can get this around here. Okay, this is my CNC. It's a KRMX01. And this is, uh, I built this myself. You can get, you can get the, uh, from, uh, what is it, Kronos Robotics is their website. But uh, I actually bought the books on uh, Amazon. And now they have uh, a KRMX-02, which is a little bit, little bit different. But uh, I've had this about seven or eight years now. And I've modified it some. But I, I'm pleased with, uh, with the outcome of most of my projects and would I build another one like this probably not okay youtubers um, we're done our tiling project for today uh, this is going to be uh, multiple videos because uh, it gets quite involved especially when you get on the computer what we're going to uh, the next thing we're going to do is get on the computer and draw our ellipse for our dish and we're not going to populate it so it, it's not going to have any models or or components in it but we're going to draw the dish and uh, we'll call this number one and in the series tiling series okay folks uh, Hey, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That's just like a like, you know. And uh, <laughs> thumbs down is not liking. So, uh, hey, uh, if you wish, uh, subscribe. That uh, kind of uh, YouTube rates you on how many subscribers you have. So, uh, it'll kind of help me out if you want. And uh, I appreciate it. Okay, see you again. Bye.